Today we're going to talk about the proper way to fill large ceramic and fiberglass plant pots like this. One of the most important things is to get good drainage in the bottom so that hole doesn't plug up and doesn't uh, let the potting soil get rotten. I recommend these types of netting pots over that drain hole in the bottom. This is an orchid pot from Arcadia Glass House. It's got netting, uh, setting upside down in the bottom works great for providing drainage around the bottom of the pot without letting that hole plug up. In this case, I drilled a couple holes in the bottom to, to make sure it didn't fill up. But we set this down over the drainage hole upside down in the bottom of these pots. And then I'm going to fill this up to the top with these ceramic clay pebbles that uh, the company sells. They're organic product. They don't ever rot. They provide excellent drainage. That makes a good base for these pots so you get good drainage at the bottom without rotting the potting soil. Put this down in. Centered. Now we're going to carefully add these clay pebbles that we talked about. So they're expanded clay. They provide excellent drainage, never rot. I'm going to put them all the way around that pot and actually cover it up a little bit. I hold that pot in place while I pour these in so it doesn't move. Once that pot's covered up, then I can just pour it in. Okay, now that pot is securely in place, surrounded by these clay pebbles. I'm going to go ahead and cover that probably by another four to six inches. The plants we're putting in here, we don't need the full depth of this pot. So this makes a great material. So now I have about six to eight inches of this in the bottom of the pot and we're going to put our potting soil on top of that, and that will last a lifetime. That's going to extend the life of the potting soil on top. Probably will last four, five, six years. It will never get rotten at the bottom. Uh, you get a lot more life out of it. Today I'm using this Pro Mix potting soil. I like this. I also like Fafford container mix. I like Roots Organic. I like Happy Frog. All of those potting mixes are available from Arcadia Glasshouse. I just chose this today because we have a large four cubic foot bale. We have a lot of these to do and it works well. So I'm going to put in about six inches at a time and I'm going to wet it because this uh, peat base mix is very dry and we'll put some more and wet it. You don't want to put the whole thing in dry because then it gets dry spots. So there I have about six inches. I'm going to hose it. Mix it. In this first planting, it's almost impossible to overwater this. So go ahead and give it a good soaking. Get your hands in it, mix it up. I'm going to need some more. Now I'm not getting down into the clay pebbles, I'm above the clay pebbles. I want to leave those undeterred at the bottom and just put the mix in. Okay, that's good and wet. I'm going to do it again. There about, I have about another six inches. I'm going to give that a good soaking, mix it up. That peat holds a lot of water. It takes more than you think it would. Don't be afraid to get it too wet, but it's important to mix it up so you don't get dry spots. Okay, that's thoroughly wet. I'm going to continue to do that. We'll fill that up to the top, and then this will be ready to plant. Thank you.